What's going on people? Welcome to GFX Capture. This is the second video in the Envato template series where I share with you how to edit and customize After Effects templates. For this video, I've picked up an opener template from Envato Elements which I'll edit and customize. In case you missed the first video, please check the Envato playlist in my channel or click on the link at the top to take you to the previous video. Envato Elements has lots of stock images footages, templates, fonts, and much more. What's more exciting is that you get a royalty-free license to use the content for your commercial use as well. You can use the link in the description if you want to save on your Envato subscription. So let's start. The template I'm gonna to use today is called Summer Opener by Fanimation. Download the zip file to your desired location on your PC or Mac. Unzip the file and launch After Effects. Go to File and Open Project, then locate your project file. In this case, it's gonna be Summer Opener. If you get this message to say it will be converted from version 10, simply click OK. Now you see that the main comp opens up automatically for you with all the layers inside. There are further compositions in these layers, which we will customize. I'm gonna create a folder in the project file called Imported Images. Then import all your images of video files and move it into this folder. Go down and double click on the scene 01. Then click on pre-screen 01. And here you can customize everything and anything that you like. First thing first, Go to photo 01 and import your own image or video file. Now you can drag each image into each photo comp as you like. Next I want to do the text 01 comp and change the text here. You can move the playhead to see the animation already applied if there is one. You can change this animation as well, but I'm simply going to change the text for now. Once you're done, you can close the composition. One thing to note is that there are compositions for photos and text in the project window. You can also change your text images there, and I would recommend you do that because it's a more organized way of managing your project. Now I'm going to do the same for the rest of the compositions, but we'll fast forward the video as it's only repeating the same thing. Once you've completed all the edits and customizations, it's time to save the file. But do a save as so that you can keep the original template unchanged. Now you can add it to render queue or media encoder queue, but I always make my final file in Premiere Pro. Simply import this After Effects project into Premiere Pro. If you want to add anything else like background music, etc., you can easily do that in Premiere Pro. Then finally export the file as H.265 and you are done. So this is all. As I said, this is very easy to compile. The hard work has already been done for you. You just need to simply import media files to the project, but that's all it. So I hope it was useful for you. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.